The Duo 35 model is a heavy-duty two-hole punch and binding machine that combines the world's top hole punching capability and specially developed binding technique. This product can perfectly bind approximately 350 sheets of paper in just 20 seconds and its excellent durability and outstanding quality is being recognized overseas as well. First, put the washer into the washer location. Then pull the operating handle to the top and place the document on the table. Push the table into the machine like you see here. Then adhere the document to the centering block and push down the handle to the hole punch softly. Then pull the table back out. Check the thickness of the document according to the thickness gauge chart. Pull the washer on the document again. Then push the rivet chosen through the punched holes. With the handle already pushed down, press slowly the rivet presser and hit harder once more. When you take out the document, you can see it is perfectly binded. If more hole margin is desired on the document, then take out the thickness gauge and this will allow deeper hole. If you want to punch four holes using the Duo 35, Spread the centering block and insert the washer in the washer home. Then place the document on the table and adhere to the right side of the centering block. Then punch the hole. Then check the size of the rivet on the thickness gauge chart and place it on the document. Put the rivet through the holes and push the rivet punch two times. When you repeat this same process once more, Four hole punching and binding is completed. The document binded with the Duo 35 can be filed into Arch Files as you see on the screen and stored for use in the future. When replacing the punching bit, dismantle the body cover and replace with the L-type wrench attached to the chip box as you see on the screen. When adjusting the drilling distance, rotate the yellow punching bit holder 180 degrees. Then the drilling distance will be changed from 70 millimeters to 80 millimeters and 80 millimeters to 70 millimeters. And then the rivet die should be moved too. The location of the punching disc must be changed often or replaced into a new one to maintain good drilling quality and to extend the life of the drill. Chips in the chip box should be emptied always.